So probably the most important info was just revealed in this latest Bleach Thousand Year Blood War episode, and that is Kenpachi. Doesn't matter if it's the end of the world. Doesn't matter if it's another Friday night. He always washes his hands. And it's just the timing is impeccable, man. Because yesterday, Dragon Ball Daima came out with a new episode. Great episode. And Goku just never washes his hands. He's he's a walking anime convention. I'm uh, Shower, washing hands just doesn't exist. And then there's Kenpachi. And you wouldn't look at Kenpachi and say, oh, he's, he's all about the cleanliness. Oh, but he is. The fact that he got left behind because he took a moment to use the... The little boy's room and the best part is you see him drying his hands so not only does having hygiene good hygiene benefit you because then you get to sneak it through the second door as old mass bastard over here is just uh his research man he's just trying to cause a ruckus i'm convinced but kenpachi being the the example of male hygiene was not on my freaking bingo card but that is the best part of this episode. There, there was never going to be any topping that, but that's just, that's just wonderful. In a world of Goku's, please be more like Kenpachi. Wash your freaking hands. I have full live reactions over on Patreon. If you want to see my full Kathate of this Bleach greatness, you know it's over there exclusively. So, I came very close to putting the Kendrick Lamar lyrics in the thumbnail this week because I'm at the point where I think I'm done with Isha, man. I've been holding on to hope that maybe, you know, he's going to be a double cross. He's going to side. No, I, I think he's just fully on the Quincy King side, which at a certain point following a leader who's doing this bullshit, you have to, you got to tap out. I understand why you started this whole thing, but man, the whole time I'm just hoping Renji bodies this fool. And the, I got to give Renji some props. He actually went for the killing blow at one point. So... I'm gonna go as far to say this is probably my favorite fight that I've seen, and I'm gonna be bold and say period in Thousand Year Blood War. And before people are like, what are you talking about? That's racy, but no, like everything about Renji's Bankai was so freaking cool to me. Like it just, it's hard to put into words, but watching everything from top to bottom and how like three or four different times throughout that fight when he was pushing our bull back, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is where they're going to cut the animation because they just did the big Sakuga, right? Like, oh god, he just Dr. Octopus threw him into a wall. Like, that's, okay, they're going to cut. And it just kept going. And I think for me, despite there being so many insane, and I think there are objectively even better animated fights than this. Just because of the scale and scope. But there was something so unexpected about this Bankai and just watching Renji just... It was so cool how it was like a mix of necromancer meets snaky Dr. Octopus moves. It's just, it's so cool. And I love too how they escalated it. Like how they continuously escalate. Because, you know, gotta say, like, Isha got pushed back. His Dr. Octopus maneuver was effective. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm the only one who felt this. Sometimes when, like, it would be like attacking or like about to do like the serpent head attack. It just kind of reminded me of Digimon, like the design of it. And then when it had like the, there's this one shot where he's like hovering over him and it becomes like this giant like energy snake look. It's just, the more I saw, the more cool it was. And it just clicked with me in a way. Like I'm not trying to say like everyone should agree this is like the best overall because I even think there's probably other ones that I would put as more emotional, more high stakes. But just watching this fight and really feeling like, you know what? Just do it, Renji. Just kill him at this point. I think he's too far gone. Let's put him out of his misery. I know you can't, because obviously if someone's going to actually beat him, it's going to be, you know, our MC Ichigo. Uh, it's just it's crystal clear how this story is going to go, because that's how these types of stories would go. It's a rivalry that's continued for quite some time. But man, I was I was crossing my fingers for a hidden, for a hidden victory. That victory never came, and uh, he, he got skewered. And I love how both sides actually had some moments of like, oh, you ain't getting up from that. When he basically imprisons him, I was like, okay, well, it's game over at that point. And just the idea that no matter how far Renji was getting pushed down, he just refused to give up. But man, like the final shots do not look good for him. Like I'm just expecting a, a death at this point. And, you know, maybe it was a fool's hope having any sort of faith in Isha because if you've watched my videos on this, you know, I've, I've been humming and hawing. I was like, well, you know, maybe, because, like, he didn't kill Ichigo. And, like, he ha he easily could have done a heart. Like, 
Ichigo would have won if he wanted to kill Isha, right? Like, I mean, but he didn't. He was holding back. And similarly, the fact that he didn't go for a fatal wound, I was like, okay, maybe he's waiting for an opportunity to jump the Quincy King. After this episode, it really gives me the impression that no, he's like, no, if, if I fight him again, he's dead. But, you know, I, I, ha I had to give him at least one free pass. So that's kind of like a, it's like a sign of respect rather than the, don't worry, bro, I'm going to stab this fool in the back someday. Which is, uh, sad. It's disappointing, but maybe if we smack enough sense into him and maybe if we kill his boss, he'll have to, you know, at least be decent again, but time will tell. Either way, I, uh, walked in expecting this was gonna be an ichigo focus episode. I don't know what it was, it's just the framing and everything. I was like, okay, it's gonna be his episode in Time to Shine, and instead they gave me something completely different. There was this one moment that left me laughing so much, and honestly, it's impressive. So, Mr., uh... Hit like seven times man like every time he did the finger blasters i was just dead so he's running for his life and at one point now i'm not saying you can't like run backwards but the way this man at one point ran backwards and did like this skating maneuver around the corner down the alleyway i was like that has to be the most impressive thing i've seen in all of bleach the fact that he's so natural at running just the fact that he's scooting on by like that was just hilarious that's what I kind of like about this episode. Yeah, we're rushing to the final battle. Yeah, we're rushing and things are, you know, people getting sniped. But, you know, they had a little fun at the start of the episode. A little silliness. And, I don't know, it's kind of a nice little debriefer. Especially given that they get you so hyped thinking, damn, Renji. Like, both of them were popping out things we haven't seen before. And the way they were doing it, you're like, yep, I'm going to clean up some mess. And, man, Renji was going for killing blows. At one point, he stabs him and then blows him up. And when that doesn't work, he blows them up even bigger, like four or five times the size. I gotta give props. I was not expecting Renji to bring up one of the best things I've seen in Thousand Year Blood War. But man, that was just such a cool ass fight. 20 seconds, man. Just like everything about what he was doing and the animation, how he was tossing his bitch ass around like he was just some pathetic ragdoll. And then Isha just had to ruin Christmas. At this point, I'm convinced even Isha doesn't wash his hands. Where is Kenpachi when you need him? Cut a bitch's head off. Pronto. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode down below. Like I said, I mean, me saying I think this is the best, and, you know, I I'm just saying it's a personal favorite for me. Like, I don't think it's overall the best, probably, for the masses, or I expect it. The design and everything, though, and just would it, I, I really like it. Like, I think, and then even if it's not, like, the overall, it's gotta be a top three for what I've seen in Thousand Year Blood War. Hopefully a couple people agree with me, but that's just my feelings anyway. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, so down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around, of course, ring that bell, and like I mentioned, full live reactions over on Patreon, and hey, while you're over there, I'll also give you a video shout out. So today we got Andre Cannon, Christoph Stanzwoski, JMW, Child, Silent Ghost, Lala, JD, and FL Facts. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care. Y'all have a good one.